Hello, welcome to Hanson Griffin's Vocational Series in YouTube tutorials. Today we're going to look at a neural network in MATLAB. And just to say, I've taken MATLAB's own example for body fat estimation. So they have their own one, and if you have it, you can open it up as a live script. I've just done it as an OLE script, but it's all here. So what we're going to try and do, we have 13 predictors. As highlighted there and we want to see uh, can we work out the body fat percentage from those 13 predictors so that's what we're trying to do so I have the code here and I've broken it up into sections and I'm going to run it section by section so there we just tidy everything up just look ahead I've just taken it from MATLAB themselves just just all the comments So nothing happens there, they're, they're just comments. There's the 13 predictors. There's a little bit about why neural networks. So just we want to be able there to predict. I assume you know this, so I'm skipping that bit. Now the data here, so MATLAB themselves provide a data set and there's 13 predictors and there's 252 data samples and obviously we're going to break these up into testing validation and training okay so we run in advance so we're there we just have a little look here um, and nothing's happened yet sorry just so we just run in advance there just have a little look at the command window so 13 by 252 so there's 252 um, samples in the data there's 13 of them there's, so there's 13 forearms there's 13 circumference of the neck etc and there's one by 252 there's 252 body fat percentages uh, we want to here initialize the weights randomly so we use that command there And we're going to use a simple two layer wooden hidden layer and here we're going to do uh, 15 neurons in the network and we're going to look at the network and these are going to be blank here when we run it because there's no biases input weights or layer weights just have a little look here they're all blank now for some odd reason on my machine you know the network comes up as very small but if we look at it there there's one hidden layer there's the output layer and just for the mouses although it's very small there's 15 there okay the 15 neurons that is now the magic sauce is here we have the input network which is blank we have x and t so x is the 13 by 252 T is the 1 by 252. We're going to have the output network. That's the one with the input weights, the output weights and the biases. And the TR is the, 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 um, the training record. And we also get NN train too. We'll explain that now in a second. So let's just uh, run in advance there. So you can call this lad We've trained the network on 9.127. NN train tool, you could say plot the performance just if we just do that. And we got the performance. We can see there that the best uh, for the validation is around epoch 3. But you see as we go on, the more epochs we take, the mean square error tends to drop here. And you see there, 10 to the 3, so uh, thousands hundreds and tens the mean square error drops as the um, more epochs you take but the best validation is in epoch 3 now you could do the training set the error histogram etc but you can also do that individually which we're going to see in a minute uh, run in advance Okay, so we've seen that there's 
and here we're going to look at the actual values for the biases, the input weights and the learning weights. So let's have a look at that. Let's just have a little look. So there, there's the biases there. And there's different answers there. So just to go back to here, those values that we're getting there are coming from I just said picked out the biases, the input weights and the learning weights. And if you want to get the whole thing, you can just do it there as well. The weights and biases in just one. Okay, now we saw with NN change here you get those graphs, but you can do them as it were one at a time. Just have a little look at that. Now we've just done that, sorry about that. Apologies, I've just done that twice. Uh, now, run in advance. So there's the performance, that's grand. Shows you that from NN train tool. We're going to run this now in a second. Um, here we're going to get the test. And you see here, there are 38. So the 13 by 38, 38 of the 252 is for testing. And we get the output there for test X. We get the, the 38 outputs in test Y. And then we get the mean square error for test S, test T and test Y. So test Y is the predicted. And test T is the actual. So we're getting the mean square error between the observed and the actual. Uh, using the network there. Let's have a little look there. So the performance there is 36.9404. So that's the mean square error after the end of the nine epochs. Uh, here we're just going to do the regression plot. by hand you can also do it from n and train tool but we're using the plot regression command just scroll up a little bit in case i'm going too fast with the code so ideally the tighter the points lie in the line and uh, the better the fit but obviously you're never going to get a perfect fit. So that's so the more those circles lie, the better the fit. The more the points lie off the line, the worse the fit. Let's look at the error histogram here. I'm just going to run this now. There's the error histogram. You would expect the residuals to be normally distributed. Now, are those residuals normally distributed? Well, not really, because there and there are quite sm smaller, lower. You would expect that guy to be up about there and that lad to be up about there. But the rest of them are broadly, uh, you got the fairly crude Bell-shaped curve, but that and that are just a little worrying. So might be something funny going on. You expect the errors or the residuals to be normally distributed. Not in this case. Well, not perfectly. Finally, I made up some data. And I made up uh, 13 there. Oh, a 13 by 1. So I made them up those 13 input. Those 13 predictors. I just made them up. And then I called them, I'm going to call the network to predict that one output. Just 
just have a little look and for those made up to air that's my body fat percentage 14.6345 and the last air is just a few comments that I took from MATLAB hope that helps a little and thanks very much for listening <laughs>